for, for the average person who was probably listening to this, what can they do to try and slow down the aging process? Or even to yeah, reduce. I mean, outside of the fundamentals, yeah, yeah, yeah. which Just we like all very know, basic things. Yeah, that's sure. that's like by far the most important stuff. Putting on l- learning how to do like a progressive, well designed, periodized resistance training program, like the stuff you talk about, I think is the foundation. <laughs> but if you want to go outside of the lifestyle, like nutrition, yeah, nutrition, sleep stress, community, meaning, purpose, like all the basics, right? Like you need to have a good, meaningful, purposeful life because that's really what's going to make you live healthy and like a long life, like just the basics. Like if you're, if you're like a miserable person and no one likes you, like you're probably not going to live very long because like (laughs) your body, you're just like, you don't have the, you need, we're humans. We're, we're social bonding. Like there's, there's so much data on that too. You know, Mm -hmm. like the sense of community and, and having healthy relationships. So I think that stuff is overlooked often and it is important, but then like the lowest hanging fruit for a lot of people, like you were saying before, is like hormone optimization, like to TRT or for women, like HRT. And then I think something like peptides, which are easily accessible or can be prescribed, which are not super expensive, can be used as well. And there's there's longevity peptides too, which like like BPC-157, TB4 or TB500 that can be cycled a few times a year or CJC, like these different healing regenerative peptides, peptides that help with the thymus gland. The thymus gland, for people who don't know, is basically one of the things that drives aging because it, it kind of sits near your thyroid. And essentially what happens is your thymus gland, as you get older, it goes through this process of involution or atrophy. It shrinks. And and as it shrinks, it your ability for your body to deal with inflammation becomes more and more challenging. And so there are peptides like one called thymogen that can help with that. So there's there are peptide protocols out there. I've I think I made a post on my threads one time. I don't know if anyone uses threads, but <laughs> <laughs> about that. But but the point is there is stuff out there about how to do peptides and, uh, you know, just like basic stuff that's mm-hmm. not super expensive if you are into longevity and anti-aging and all that. What about uh, very basic over-the-counter supplements? What's your view on them? The quality, of, uh, right? Well, it's a quality control. is the biggest. I'm a huge fan of supplements, but it's just, it's hard to, you have to, it's quality. Yeah. Yeah. Because with myself, I mean, I was... In my 20s, it was a lot of guesswork. I would just buy random things off the shelf and just have them just hoping for the best. All that bit of zinc or a bit of magnesium, whatever it might be. Recently, I've become more aware of the importance of getting blood work done. So a company I work with called Bionic, I do a blood test with them every three months. I think they test for over 50 parameters. And based on the blood work, which is done, sent off to Switzerland, analyzed, they put together a custom supplement formula based off that blood test, which I think is, it's an improvement. At least I'm having the, you know, the proportions of each vitamin that I should be having. But then I think that was based off one blood test. What if, you know, surely your blood work can change by quite a lot in a matter of days. So how, how effective is something like that? I think it's I think it's useful, but I also think you know if like we don't want to overly complicate things either. Mm-hmm. So I'm always about simplicity. So you were asking how can someone do this, make it simple as possible. Mm-hmm. Crea Pure, five grams a day. HMB, three grams a day, and whey protein. I think are by far the three easiest supplements to take for longevity and anti aging. Because you think whey protein's in there, of course. Oh, it, yeah. Whey protein is so because most people don't actually get enough protein, mm-hmm. and whey protein is the only processed food that is good for you, because I mean technically it's highly processed, ultra processed even, but it's actually very good for you. It has a lot of health benefits, and obviously it's and it can be anti catabolic because it can help with lean body mass preservation, uh, and HMB which I'm sure, I'm sure you know what that is, like a leucine metabolite, it's super anti-catabolic, right? And so I think those are such easy things to access that people don't even do. They're like focusing on like all this weird shit from like this health <laughs> guru online. And it's like, bro, just like take some creatine. Like you're not even doing the basics. Yeah. Like, but I mean, obviously assuming you want that whey protein to be the higher the quality, the better, not just the cheapest. Of course, exactly. Stuff. Yeah, no, for sure. And that's where it comes back to the biggest issue with supplements is quality. Yeah. And I think working with like reputable brands and people who do third-party testing and validate everything. I think that type of stuff you got to look for. 